I just have always had this interest in something different than what everybody else is doing. Uh, I was a music major as an undergraduate, but then also found um, I, I had a roommate that was Japanese and just had this interest in Japanese culture. So I luckily had this uh, opportunity to go to Japan. I, I ended up being there for about 11 years. I have uh, both ENL and Japanese classes on both days, so it, it definitely keeps me hopping. I am always running down the halls. I have there's a, a teacher in the main hallway that always laughs because he, he says I look like the Matrix because I'm always <laughs> running. <laughs> and um, so I, I do keep very busy and I look forward to every day. It's challenging, especially with uh, Japanese in particular, where the students are coming from with all different backgrounds. Some of them are there because are here because they had um, been reading manga or watching anime and so they have some some phrases already or they've had this interest in it, in writing. I try to organize the classroom so that they each have an opportunity to show what they know um, and try not to give them negative you know feedback when they might not know something that everybody else does just by chance of their background. I think that having the opportunity to have to study a, a language that is not a European language is really important for the students to kind of open their eyes and see that there's more to um, what's out there than mm -hmm. just just the typical European languages. There are over 30 different languages spoken here at, at North and in any one ENL classroom I'll have maybe 10 different languages that are spoken in that classroom. So it's, it's really interesting to see the different students and where they're coming from and how they approach the different uh, subjects. And my role as the ENL resource teacher is to help all of the students with their different subject areas. So keeps me on my toes. Uh. <laughs>